Brothers and sisters, this is Father Michael. Welcome to the God Minute. TGIF, we made it through another week. Thanks be to God. If you've been following us this week on the God Minute, we are celebrating Angel Week, which Father Ron has mentioned a number of times this week. And today, I want to tell you about the Seraphim Angels. These are the highest order uh, or choir of angels. These particular angels serve as guardians or attendants before God's throne. It says in Isaiah chapter 6, they praise God calling holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. What's interesting of note about seraphim angels is that they have six wings. Two of their wings cover their faces, two cover their feet, and the other two are for mobility, all to reverence and praise God. And today, we praise our God with Concert Friday, where we allow music to lead us in prayer. Let us begin as we do all things in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open my lips. And my mouth shall declare your praise. Psalm 103. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 25, verse 31 to 46. When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne, and all the nations will be assembled before him, and he will separate them one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep on his right, and the goats on his left. 
Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food, thirsty, and you gave me drink, a stranger, and you welcomed me, naked, and you clothed me, ill, and you cared for me, in prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of these least ones of mine, you did for me. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you accursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food, thirsty, and you gave me no drink, a stranger, and you gave me no welcome, naked, and you gave me no clothing, ill and in prison, and you did not care for me. Then they will say, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or ill or in prison and not minister to your needs? And he will answer them, Amen, I say to you, what you did not do for one of these least ones, you did not do for me. And these will go off to eternal punishment and the righteous to eternal life. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Let us pray together the words that our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Father, you have given all peoples one common origin. It is your will that they be gathered together 
as one family in yourself. Fill the hearts of humankind with the fire of your love and with the desire to ensure justice and peace for all. By sharing the good things you give us, may we secure an equality for all, our brothers and sisters throughout the world. May there be an end to division, strife, and war. May there be a dawning of a truly human society built on love and peace. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thanks, everyone, for joining us for Concert Friday today here on the God Minute. Take good care of yourselves today. Don't forget to pray for one another, especially all of our brothers and sisters who are hurting. And today I want to conclude with these angelic voices as we come to a close of our angel week. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.